Hello everybody, my name is Chris and today we're doing something a little different. We're doing a movie review. Now why did I choose movie reviews? Well, honestly it came out of a desire to make more content. I, I like the videos that are coming out here now but I, I felt like there wasn't enough. You know, I ended up doing sort of maybe two or three videos a week and I kind of wanted to do a bit more so I thought reviews it's a good place to go. Not just current films, but just films and TV and books in general. Just recommendations. And this week, we are doing 17 again. Zac Efron. I made the basketball team. Yay! Oh, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> you too. You did great out there. Oh, Mark. That's super inappropriate. Nice. Is... 17 again. So, why am I doing 17 again? Well, you can blame this guy. Yeah, Tom Scar. Thomas Tom Scar Ridgewell, who has said for many years that 17 Again is the greatest movie of all time. Hey you, my name is Thomas Tom Scar Ridgewell, and 17 Again is a 2009 comedy movie about a man reconnecting with his wife and children after being magically transformed back into the body of his 17 year old self. It's also my favourite movie of all time. 17 Again! Now he said that this is the greatest movie of all time. Now, do I actually agree with his statement? No. What I was originally planning on doing is watching this film three or four times, coming up with a, a complex, well thought out, well written opinion about the film. I'm not going to do it to myself. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do it to myself because I didn't particularly enjoy the film. I mean, I bought it on Blu-ray. I'm looking around for the Blu-ray to see if I can show it to you, but I can't at this current point put my hand on it. I don't know where I put it. And I bought I bought the Blu-ray version because it's supposed to be uh, sounds quite prophetic. It's supposed to be packed with that. In other words, it's supposed to have more footage, and so it gives you a more complete picture of the film. Honestly, I didn't enjoy it. I managed to get about half an hour through before I still started to think I am not enjoying this film. And I mean, I did finish it. I'm not going to make a video about a film I didn't even finish. But I, I didn't particularly like it. To start off with, I, I'm not really entirely sure the, what they're trying to do with this film. I thought, well, maybe it's about a good message. I'm not sure what the message is. Be thankful for what you have, maybe? That might be the message, but it could be a hundred other messages. I'm, I honestly am not sure. So what is the actual premise? And what is the actual premise of the film? Uh, basically it is about a guy who is in his 40s, he's divorced, he's constantly looked over for promotion. He He's basically a loser. He's supposed to be this stereotype Hollywood loser. And somehow, in some magical way, it's never exactly explained, he is given his 17-year-old body again. He de-ages back to 17 and he gets to live life as a 17-year-old again. Uh, and he sort of, you know, eventually thinks, well, maybe I should try and do things differently. And then he comes to the conclusion that, no, you know, I, I like my life as it is. So I should be more thankful for what I've got rather than looking to what I failed to get. I'm not sure what the message there is, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Aside from be thankful for what you have, which, depending on what you have and what you want, is could be a very bad message for some people. Uh, I don't know. So what are the positives of this film? Well, there was a very funny scene uh, with Zac Efron's character and the character of his daughter, played by Michelle Trachtenberg. You may know her also as Dawn from Buffy, uh, in which she's sort of hitting on and attempting to seduce her father without realising it's her father. Oh, you want to play games? I can play games. No, 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 no. I'm... That is quite a funny scene. Highly inappropriate when you think about it, uh, and considering this kind of very much does fit the classification of a teen comedy, you think, you know, that maybe that shouldn't be there, but it is funny. I'll give it credit. I was quite surprised by that thing because I had I had been sort of just essentially grinding through it. I wasn't really enjoying it, and I, I, that thing made me laugh. And it's the only thing in the film that did. Uh, negatives. Ah, oh, there's a lot. If I'm honest, it, it's. It felt like a, it did feel like a teen comedy, but not necessarily in a good way. I didn't feel that a lot of the characters were particularly likable. I felt um, 
in the case of both Zack's character and his best friend, they both seemed very stereotypical. They didn't really seem... I don't know, they didn't seem much flesh to the characters. You know, some of them there was a bit more behind the scenes, the, the wife, the headmistress, there was a bit more to them than what you originally realised, but with a lot of them, I don't know, I think you're playing a bit on stereotypes, which is very poor characters development, in my opinion. Um, story was predictable. I pretty much knew what the story was going to be from about half an hour in, which isn't good. It does point to bad storytelling, if you know what the story is. But it is also a teen comedy. So that really does lead to my recommendations. Do I recommend this film? The answer to that is maybe with an asterisk. If you're a teenager, you probably will enjoy this film, if I'm being honest. If a teen comedy is the kind of thing you like, you will probably like this film. For me, I was going by recommendation, and I think I was too old for it. It just didn't click with me at all. You know, I mean, I was a teenager when this film came out, but, yeah, it just... I think it was, anyway. I can't quite remember what year it came out. But I, I was certainly around that age. I wasn't a teenager, I certainly wasn't far away from it. But... Yeah, it just didn't work for me. I would give it... Do you know, I would give it... I'm actually going to say... For me, I was going to give it about 4 out of 10. I'm actually going to bump that up to a 6. 6 out of 10. The reason why I'm giving it a 6 out of 10... Is because... I felt like it wasn't... Necessarily a bad film completely. I felt like it didn't work for me. If it was the intended audience... I think there'd be a different reaction... It didn't work for me. There were serious problems. That's why I'm not going to have a six. There were serious problems with the story, with the characters. Um, the flow of it felt a little mm, disjointed sometimes. And some of it just didn't seem to make a lot of sense. But, over, like I said, I think for the right audience, I think they, they would like it. So let me know what you think. I mean, this isn't necessarily how I want to do these in the future. I think I'd like to go much more in-depth, and I'd like to explore themes and story and characters a lot more. But I think I need to actually be able to enjoy the film to be able to do that properly. I think this is kind of my, my I didn't enjoy the film reviews. I'll probably do a few more of them at some point. Uh, I have no idea what the next review is going to be. I have no idea what I want to do. But what I do know is that... This review is done. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you have, because I like I would do more of these if you think this is worth doing. But well, I'll probably do more of these anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you again real soon.